Blah, blah, blah. 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 Hey everybody, we made it to St. Augustine. Right now we're at our hotel. We're staying at the Courtyard Marriott on St. Augustine Beach, which is really weird because it's actually on Anastasia Island. Yeah, it is. But we're really excited. We are gonna go to the lighthouse. Yes. And then we're gonna go on a ghost tour. Excited about that? Yeah, and then we're gonna go to the old Spanish fort. Ha, <laughs> the Castillo de San Marcos. <laughs> yes, babe, the Castillo de San Marcos. So we're gonna do something a little bit different in this video. What we're gonna do is at the end, we're gonna tell you three things that we really liked about this location yeah. and three things that we really didn't care so much for or didn't like. So stay tuned to the end and you guys get that information. Looking forward to it. Yep, I'm ready to go. Let's go. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Way too much energy, way too early in the morning. Had to fake it for you. But no, we're here on beautiful Annabelle Island and St. Augustine Beach. You can see behind me, there are some people walking around. There's some uh, people gold digging, as I like to call it. Some people call it treasure hunting. Gold digging sounds better. We took a short little bike ride from our hotel, which is pretty cool. Uh, we rented the bikes for about $12 an hour, so I definitely recommend that you guys take advantage of that. And took a little beach access road. We were here in a couple minutes. We're in historic St. Augustine, Florida, known as the oldest city in the United States. So, took a side street off the beaten path. As you can see behind me, it's like a cobblestone walkway. This is that old Spanish touch that St. Augustine has. It's beautiful. Right now, we are at the Plaza de la Constitucion. St. Augustine, not only beautiful, also historic. We're still in the plaza and the structures that are all around us, from the courtyards to the buildings, to the reenactment of the cannons and cannonballs, super cool. It's the oldest public place in America. Established when? 1573. 1573, Denard Jackson and Tony Marie. Oh. I don't know, we weren't alive then. No. <laughs> Now we're at Heritage Walk. Yes. We're getting ready to do the Ghost Augustine Dead Walk. Ooh. Kinda creepy, kinda yeah. fun. I mean, I'm already scared of the dark. Like being back here at a church makes me nervous already. Like I don't like to be in the bathroom in the dark. I will sleep with a nightlight. So this um, makes me nervous to say the least. It is a little bit creepy out here. It's kind of getting darker by the moment. Yeah, and you know that this place has been around since like the 1500s, so like the sidewalks are haunted, you know? Anything can happen. <laughs> Great. So we'll see you guys after the tour, I'll let you know how it was. Yeah. So Mother Nature doesn't want me to go on a ghost adventure. Rumor has it, it's gonna thunder and lightning. So let's see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted. I can hear it in the distance not looking good. Changing plans. Yeah. No longer are we doing the ghost tour. Mother Nature is killing that idea. Yeah, there's a bunch of rain, thunder, and lightning heading this way, which is typical for Florida, so we're not really that surprised. 
They called off the tour. Just sucks a little bit because kind of had my heart set on seeing a ghost or two. Yeah, I just was kind of down for like the historical stories. I was excited about that. We don't have much time here, so it's not like we can reschedule. Um, but the people at Ghost Adventures. The people at Ghost Augustine are pretty good yeah. with regards to that. They're going to provide us with a full refund. Yeah. So that's cool. Just kind of stinks. Yeah. So. We will see you guys later. Sign it off. John, I mean, you gotta talk. Apparently, she stays ready. There okay. were some characters. No, like it's characters in like Halloween Horror Night style with blood on them and like masks, but not like safety masks, like weird Halloween type masks. So I'm like, hey, are you guys here for the tour? I'm trying to let them know that it's canceled. She looks at me like all crazy with her head turned. I have my fist talk the whole time. Like, I don't mess around with a woman who's wearing a blood apron on Saturday in the middle of town. Nah. So right now, we are on the ground, walking down to the St. Augustine Lighthouse. Five stairs down, 214 to go. Let's go. Okay, so we just heard some pretty creepy noise. Apparently this lighthouse is haunted. Between the time of 1871 and 1874, this lighthouse is under construction. Yeah, and the groundskeepers brought his family here to help build the lighthouse. Uh, and used to use a rail cart to go up to the top and bring the materials all the way up. And the kids kind of used it as their own personal roller coaster um, to, to slide back down. Typically there was a board that would stop the rail cart every time on the way down. On this unfortunate day, that board for some reason wasn't there. Yeah, and the kids fell into the water and drowned. The oldest one was 15 years old. So they still see the children um, in the house, which is behind us, um, in period clothes, of course, and they still hear the kids playing and laughing right outside this window. And now the journey begins. down the stairs out of the lighthouse. Pretty easy walk. It gets a little warm in there. So just be prepared for that. All in all, it was a great time. One, and we made it. Lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, lighthouse. So right now we're at historic Castillo de San Marcos. This large Spanish stone fortress was built not only to protect, but also defend Spain's claim on the new world. And at 315 years old, it's definitely the oldest structure in all of St. Augustine. The construction of the Castillo de San Marcos started back in 1672, lasted about 23 years 
finishing in 1695. In the years to follow the finalization of the Castillo de San Marcos, there were a lot of fortresses that were built similar using some of the techniques and foundations that they used to build this one. But the thing that set this one apart is that it was built with coquinas, making it impenetrable to enemies and also fire resistant. So if that's the Mo Bridge, then all of this would have been flooded with water. It's kind of crazy to think. It doesn't seem that deep, but you wouldn't really know how deep it would be. So definitely the best advice I can give you is to stay hydrated. It gets pretty hot out here. I'm doing my best to stay hydrated, but you can see the sweat beating. It's Florida, old Florida. Now we're back to tell you guys three things that we really enjoyed about this vacation yeah. and three things that we didn't really care too much about. Yeah. Before we jump into that, I want to take a moment and give a shout out to Anthony. When we were down at Anna Maria Island, he dropped off some beverages to us that were perfect for a beach day. Yeah. We had a leftover one, so we decided to bring it up here with us. Mm -hmm. So thank you again, Anthony. Now let's talk about the three things that we really enjoyed about this vacation. Babe, tell me one thing that you really enjoyed about this vacation. This city is super friendly. I had great conversations with everyone from the hotel staff to our bartenders and waitresses. Yeah. The tour guides were so knowledgeable and we learned a lot about the city. Shout out to John at Ghost Adventures. Yeah. Even though our tour was canceled, he did a great job. He took care of everything yeah. and definitely recommend you guys booking them if you're coming to St. Augustine to do a ghost tour. Yeah, when we come back, uh, you know, we're looking forward to doing that for sure. That's at the top of our list. One of the things that I loved personally was a history. Yeah. And that history is evident from the architecture. Mm -hmm. So the way the buildings are built, the roads, even like the restaurants, like you see a blend of like Spanish restaurants yeah. and English restaurants. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. Yeah. And then what's the third thing that you liked? I like the beach. It's yeah. literally <laughs> right outside from our, um, our room, which is great. Yeah. We rented bikes and took the bikes over there. Mm -hmm. Super close, super convenient. And uh, we grew up in the Gulf Coast, so we understand how beautiful beaches look. Right. Not quite a Gulf Coast beach, but it was actually better than we thought. We've been to a few beaches on the East Coast and they weren't nearly as beautiful as this one. Yeah, this one surprised us. We, we really liked it and we got to see the sunset and the sunrise from this hotel. And the other thing, babe, is that there were like full seashells on the beach. We don't get that all the time on the Gulf Coast because it's so crowded, yeah. but we saw huge, big, shells and that was nice to see. Uh, for the three things that we disliked about this vacation. Yeah, for this I'm gonna eat a drink. Thanks Anthony. <laughs> so the first thing that I disliked, it's kind of weird because it almost contradicts like one of my likes, yeah. well, but the roads, they're pretty small. I get that they were built a long time ago and they have cobblestone on them and they're beautiful, but if you're driving you have to be prepared for pedestrians to be walking on that same roadway that you're on. Yeah. So that's a little bit of a headache. Yeah, it gets a little tight. Um, and another thing that I didn't love is that we're in St. Augustine in July and it's Florida and it was legit like 100 degrees today. It so was hot. It was hot. you get really dehydrated, you get really hot. I got pretty tired. Uh, I had to wear sunscreen, my hair kind of went crazy. So, you know, the things that you can expect for Florida in July, probably not the best month to be here. Went through a lot of water and Gatorade while we were here. Yeah. <laughs> she chugged the whole bottle. It was the first time I ever seen her do it. All right, so another thing that I disliked, parking. So when you're downtown, if you have an opportunity to find parking on the street, jump on it. But if you don't, you gotta find one of those parking lots where it's like meter parking, mm -hmm. and you gotta pay for that. Mm -hmm. It's $6 for up to two hours, but then it's like up to four hours is $12. The other day, we found ourselves doing that three times in one day. So just that day alone, we paid about 20 bucks in parking. Yeah, not great. Gets kind of expensive. Yeah. Other than that, 
we actually enjoyed this vacation. We thought it was better than the first time we came out to St. Augustine. Yeah, I mean, this is our second time here and I liked it a lot more this time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Different from the other beaches that we've been to in the past, the salt water content is just bullshit I'm making up. All right, bike life. A1A, Detroit Avenue. Right. I'm gonna take you to something I discovered yesterday when we got here. It appears they took trees directly out of Jurassic Park and planted them on Annabelle Island. It's not the best view because it's like roped off like it's in quarantine, but check it out. Lot seven. And then his brother. They didn't want to separate the family, which is a good idea. I don't agree with separating families. I'm all alone. I left Tony Marie on her own. Should have been a rapper. Bike life episode two. Riding super fast. Riding with one arm. Riding with, riding with, okay, back to riding with one arm. And we almost fell. <laughs> so, Tony Marie Mark. <laughs> this large stone Spanish fortress, but. <laughs> this large stone Spanish fortress behind me was built to not only protect, but also defend Spain's claim on the new 